Wow Alchemy Changes, coming in Battle for Azra. Let's take a look and see what's in store. Looking for gold guides, profession leveling, prepared for Battle for Azra? Be sure to subscribe to this channel now for all of this and more. For the purpose of this video, we'll be taking a look at the changes coming in Battle for Azra to Alchemy. Also, be aware that the numbers given here or in any Battle for Azeroth guide can definitely change going forward because we're only in the alpha stage at this point. Now, first, let's take a look at the flask. We have Flask of Undertow. Increased strength by 59 for one hour. Counts as both a battle and guardian elixir. And effects do persist through death. Now, the great part about the flask that I'm seeing so far, all of them persist through death. So, that's a, a great thing. Next, we have Flask of Vast Horizon. Which increases stamina by 88 for one hour. And, of course, counts as a battle and guardian elixir. And persists through death. Next, the Flask of Currents. Increase Agility by 59 for one hour. And counts as both Battle and Guardian Elixir. And does persist through death. Now, as we all know, Flasks are big money makers. They always have been and always will be. Because these are items that Raiders and Mythic Plus players simply must have to maximize their potential in each and every run they make. Each flask that we're looking at here has great potential and seems to be very awesome. Now, next let's take a look at the potions. Coastal Mana Potion. This would be one of the items that I was speaking about the numbers changing on because currently the Coastal Mana Potion restores zero mana. Coastal Healing Potion restores 15,565 health. Coastal Rejuvenation restores 14,787 up to 16,342 health. And 3,697 up to 4,085 mana. Potion of Concealment hides the user from detection as long as they stand still and it does last for 3 minutes, has 1 minute cooldown. Sea Mist Potion turns the user into a cloud, allowing them to fall slowly from great heights and float over water surfaces. Lasting one minute with a one minute cooldown. Elixir of Replenishment puts the user in an elevated state of focus where they can restore up to 778 mana over 10 seconds. But they are defenseless until the focus is broken. With a cooldown of one minute. Now I do believe this these numbers will be changed on this one. Uh, next, Dimitri's Drought of Delusion. Which grants you invisibility for 18 seconds. Elixir of Noxious Touch. When attacking has a change to create a burst of poison around the user dealing 4,203 up to 5,136 damage split evenly amongst all enemies within a 8 yard radius. Now this one was going to definitely be one that we have to use carefully otherwise we're going to pull multiple mobs at one time even though we may not need them need or want to at the moment and it does have a one minute cooldown light 
foot potion. This is a speed increase, of course, of 150% for 8 seconds, which means, it, depending upon your mount speed, for 8 seconds you're going to be as spaced on foot as you are on, on your mount, which is going to be pretty awesome. Definitely make, uh, make escaping a near-death experience a lot easier. Now, potions, we don't typically get a, a lot of potions. Usually, it's more no more than a few at a time in each expansion. But in Battle for Azeroth, it seems we're going to have a total of nine so far already released. Trinkets. Now, for trinkets, it looks like we're going to have two different alchemist stones. The Surging Alchemist Stone, granting two... 22 versatility and when equipped when you heal or deal damage you have a chance to increase your strength agility or intellect by 79 for 15 seconds your highest stat will always be chosen also increases the effect but healing and mana potions have on the wear for by 40%. This effect does not stack. Next we have the Siren's Alchemist Stone. Which currently has the same exact description as the one we just went over. So I do look for this one to change. Next let's take a look at the Transmutes. It appears we're going to be getting a lot of Transmutes. So let's dive right in. The Uncommon Material Transmute, Rare Material Transmute, Fish to Gems, Meat to Pet. Now, this is going to be awesome because I'm not sure if there's going to be different pets or if it's just going to be one specific pet, but you're going to be able to transmute meat into a battle pet. Cloth to Skin. Or to gem, or to cloth, or to herbs, herbs to cloth, and herbs to ore. Transmute Masters will be the very first ones to tell you, but transmute cooldowns are very profitable, and selling their daily cooldowns can make them millions of gold throughout an expansion. Now, while it's always possible Blizzard can make changes to alchemy, other than changing a few numbers to, to the, for example, the potion that gave zero mana, I don't really see them making any huge changes. So, let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are. For now, be sure to give a thumbs up to the video, subscribe to the channel if you've not already, and as always, have a great day.